Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues lesson. This time we're talking about Robert Nighthawk. I'm going to talk about his single note style, um, which is really interesting and beautiful. So this has gone out to my buddy, Illinois Slim. He's just tall, that's all. There's so many good ones. And one that I really like is She Knows How to Love a Man. So let's play just a little bit of it and then I'll try to extrapolate some principles of his single note picking and we'll talk about some of his other highlights too like the live at Maxwell Street stuff. He didn't do that last part but I did that because um he does that a lot. He does that in going to Eli's. He does it all the time. Slides up to the G here. I'm, I'm on the third fret with a capo. And then this is like the same shape as an E seventh, but it's one fret below. 10 and 9. And you can actually see him on film doing it in that. And this is free, the Maxwell Street film. I really like that. Nobody does that, but I guess Light Hopkins does stuff like that. It's kind of an unusual to do this, but you know, Robert Nighthawk has this kind of wistful style to him, so. I've got a woman, and then she knows how to love a man. So now I'm going to talk about the kind of things he does uh, in general in his solos. tugs this note this note you can do it on the third fret or second fret up here's the beginning of a solo that is just amazing to kind of in there over this using a pick the whole time but I like to use my fingers sometimes to back off on the volume and then here's a great chord this is how you know he's using a capo like without a doubt here's the chord this is over the four this is a first inversion of the four chord in other words it's a four chord where the root note is the third of that chord he walked into it. Fourth fret on the A string with your third finger. Second fret on the D string with your first finger. And then open G string. And then you can either walk into it from the open A string like this. I love my baby, but my baby won't behave. Here's his turnaround. Seventy four freight train got ways just like a man.
So, fits like a glove, right? Hear the small tugs? This just won't cut it, okay? It just doesn't have any feeling to it, so let's try it, like... He loves to bend this note. Now here's one of the greatest licks in the history of time. And, he and it's really neat that he does it over the four. You'd kind of think that he would do it over, over the uh, five, but he does it over the four. Just the way he does a lot of things, like he'll play this over the four, over the four, which gives it a suspended feeling, or he'll do this, which gives it a beautiful open sound. It's like he's like the Walter Davis of the guitar, man. So here he does this over the four chord. You don't have to slide it up to here. You can go there. It's just probably what he did. But since you're doing this, why not do this on the next string down, the low E string? So which is another way of ending on this five note, which has that kind of thoughtful quality to it that's hard to describe. Mixing up a little bit of bricks in my pillow. So I'm going to switch to a E now and talk about some other amazing stuff he does. Let's talk about the way he plays like Take It Easy Baby, Yakety Yak, stuff like that. And the way he plays Merry Christmas Baby. He does that twice. One is really fast on that Chicago Blues anthology. And the other is more medium tempo on the Testament record. It's both fabulous. That's the sliding into your E on the fifth fret of the B string, okay? Yeah, and you see how this is part of this chord? And then we're going to move into part of this chord. Hard for me to play it all like that. Which is the seventh, right? So here's how it all fits together. See how that's part of... So, 6 and 5, G and B strings. And now, you're perfectly set up to go to the next place you're going to go, which is your third finger is going to go from the 7th to the ninth fret. And then your first finger's right behind it, already in place, on the 7th fret of the high E string, okay? And then he, he kind of spits out the notes sometimes when he gets agitated. Then he drags the pick like this. This is nine, seven, nine. So. And then once again, see that tug? It's just like. Then this, and he, he has a way of muting with his left hand because it's not, it, it doesn't sound like, it sounds kind of delicate the way he plays it. It's really interesting. You can just pull back just a little bit on your left hand and get a mute that way, but don't do it so much that it sounds like, you know, George Barnes or Tequila or... That's too much, okay? <laughs> he 
you'll either bend here on the on the seventh fret, or I like this bend better on the eighth fret because this music is very aching, man. That's the other thing is these crazy upstrokes that he goes. He goes, you know. Ah, <laughs> I got it so bad. Or, you know, one thing he does sometimes when he really is into it, his solo will be. I do that with my finger. I do that. This is what I do. You can do it with your pick and try to play really quiet. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. You gotta whisper it, man. So I've got one pick here. This is what I do. I hold my pick here and then I do this here. I just, I just work my whole arm. You can either use the third fret on the G string or the second. I kind of like the third. It sounds like two people talking. One guy's like, whoa, 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 and then he goes, ooh, you know. That was better. Let's try that again. Oh, none of that. That don't go there. So <laughs> let's try it again. This is a like pretty much a half step bend on the third fret. You know. It's just very Robert Nighthawk, isn't it? It's just like this on the slide, right? You know, you know. But he does it with his fingers. So notice this makes perfect sense to end there, right? Because. It's telling everyone you're here. You're on the you're on the five. I need the kind of woman, you know, and so on. I'll go back to G. So I'm gonna try to do just as a review a bit of the solo, and she knows how to love a man. Okay, I'm gonna start from the five. I'm going away to leave you. I'm doing the best I can. Let's start from the five. One, two, three. for note but it had notice how like the repetition of these kind of licks it builds like momentum and the same thing happens like if you're in this position I'll go back to E
So uh, this is the last thing we're talk about, which is truly amazing, is when he goes. So when he plays like fast, like a Merry Christmas baby. He does some really beautiful stuff there, and you just gotta slow it down and get it. something kind of like that to go through the five chord so that's pretty much a good way to start with Robert Nighthawk in a nutshell for his non-slide stuff and have fun and um, do subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks a lot